Let me take the first sip of coffee this fine morning. Oh, it's hot. Oh, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Buddha back in the building for an exciting video. We finally got a nice, nice long video on amazing news about Last Claudia's second anniversary festival <laughs> guys we are three t minus three days away from the 15th with which is when this information that we're about to look at does enter the game i am very very excited now i did see some translated information from the japanese live stream that aired i think at 7 a.m my time eastern standard time and then ended up jumping in a voice chat to hear the thoughts regarding the new unit, which I will just say is Shift Kyle incoming on Crypt Man's Discord. We jumped in a voice chat with a bunch of the uh, Last Claudia Discord mods and members. Demos, Captain Jabberwock, Uni, Jawline. And they were discussing their thoughts on what we, on the information that we had translated over to us while we waited for this video to drop. I kind of just sat back and listened to the information that was being passed around by the veterans. And I am excited to actually see what the official translations look like in this video. We've got a fat little video video to watch here so I think we should just get to it and see what Adis has in store for us this coming uh, anniversary out there. this is last Claudia PR guy and localization team director kit kit it's great to be oh that freaking image looks crazy looks crazy hold on let's rewind it just a little bit y'all already know the thumbnail is gonna be lit we've got all of the shift forms for our characters Kyle's sword went Super Saiyan, not Kyle himself. I mean, he's got some dope armor. He's got a nice looking cape, but that sword is looking like it's heating up going Super Saiyan. So let's see. Oh, here we go. This, see, these are scenes from the upcoming story. Whoa, Night Lord Kyle. Kaiser Edge, Flash Burst, and Shining Nova. Oh, those animations look fantastic. Final Braver. What do we got? Oh my god, the anime shonen main character screams are just crazy. <laughs> Run it, Kyle! Run it, baby! Run it, Kyle! <laughs> Ooh, I'm excited. We've got his traits right here. Night Lord Kyle's traits uh, at max. Heir of Adele. Fire and dark magical attacks don't make unit flinch. So we've got another non-flinching type trait. Whenever unit or allies are near death, fire damage plus 5%, fire damage cap plus 1,000. A max of 10 boosts. So it sounds like if they drop to a certain threshold, you heal them up, they drop to that same threshold, he's going to get this stacking effect up to 10 times, uh, a total of 50% damage, and then... 10,000 extra damage cap. So that's pretty nutty. Uh, his next trait, we've got Night Lord. Battle start, HP cap plus 2,000. I like it. Plus 1,000 more in boss battles. Okay. When ally takes lethal damage, allies get 1 HP and barrier equal to unit HP. Two times per wave, barrier ends when unit dies. Okay, so that's not an infinite effect right there. Uh, when we read the, or, or when, uh, I believe Kim, shout out to Kim, was the one to translate the information this morning uh, over on the LC main discord. The limit to that effect was not uh, explained, so we now know that allies get 1 HP, so I'm guessing they, they don't die, they stick to 1 HP, and then uh, a barrier equal to unit HP, so it puts a barrier on them equal to Kyle's total HP is that what I'm hearing and then that happened that can happen two times per wave <laughs> Kyle is going to be nutty nutty crazy for PvP barrier ends when unit dies of course Kyle has to stay alive but you keep this man alive and he's going to act as a decoy or uh, determination 
for all your units. Holy cow. Okay. Here are his abilities, uh, the animations that we just saw. Skill 1, Kaiser Edge, Frontal Long Range Fire Combo Attack. Skill 2, Flash Burst, Frontal Medium Area Fire Combo Attack that launches enemies into the air. Chance to lower fire resistance, okay. Skill 3, Shining Nova, instantly close the gap. You gotta love that for your damage dealers. Uh, instantly close the physical damage dealers. Instantly close the gap for a medium area. Fire combo attack that launches enemies into the air. Changes to light if enemy's light resistance is lower. So, he doesn't have it built into his entire kit, but so far he just has it built into his skill 3. This variation of the attack's element depending on the enemy's resistance. And his special final braver powerful fire combo attack against an enemy. And this also changes to light if it's lower. Uh, so he's got two out of his four skills that change elements depending on the enemy's resistance. I like it. I like that. Like I said, I like that mechanic a lot uh, with BB Shin. And then here we go, the juice, right? The main course of any uh, unit is their skill board. Let's take a look. Uh, his unique skills, Night Lord's Charisma, all allies HP cap plus 1500, regular attack damage plus 10%. We were discussing this in uh, Crip's little discussion. That is not going to be, I think, anyone's charisma of choice. Regular attack damage is not the key to any main damage dealing strategy, so I am not enamored by that. If it was plus 100%, now we're talking a different kind of build that you might be able to run, but just plus 10% does not strike me as anything significant. Then we've got Hero's Wings, Break time plus 50% for enemies put into break by unit. There was some speculation I remember talking early, maybe a couple weeks ago with some of the, the Buddha gang, that they might try to focus Kyle as a breaker in some way, maybe some skill that allows him to insta-break. But it seems he does have this extended break time that he puts on to bosses. So not completely wrong with that speculation. Uh, we've also got instant strike. When only weapon equipped is one sword, Physical crits have a low chance for damage plus 150%, comma, damage cap plus 15,000. Now, uh, Deimos Demented Panda was saying that these are not related. The damage cap plus 15,000 is not uh, proccing on that low chance. This is independent of that. So pretty much, if you're single wielding with Kyle, he's going to have this plus 15,000 damage cap to his critical hits. When I first read that, I thought, oh, wow, Adis, are they going to finally release a mechanic that competes with dual wield? The consensus of the veterans seems to be that dual wield is still going to be the king of physical damage meta even with a monstrous plus 15,000 damage cap. One, it's only on criticals and two if you're doing dual wield and then allowing the damage modifiers to cap up I imagine you're going to be getting a similar plus 15,000 damage range to every single hit including crits so dual wield still theoretically is going to make this not as impressive as it sounds on paper uh, but like I've said before, we will have to see it in-game to truly understand what uh, what its capability is. And we've got Medio Force is also a skill. Regular attacks get a powerful light extra attack. All extra attacks deal 1.5 times damage. So Kyle is geared. He's got some skills built into him to increase his regular attack multipliers. Uh, we saw the first one in his charisma, and now this next one has got some emphasis on that. So we will likely see him hitting very hard on his regular attacks, just like we see with a shift a little bit. Next is Night Zone. Night zone as in like the time of day or is that supposed to be the same as here? <laughs> I'm not sure. I would assume it's supposed to be night, but uh, that doesn't really matter. More likely to be attacked. So we've got a built-in allure. Frontal physical attack damage plus 10%. Frontal damage taken minus 10%. So we're seeing some tanky uh, tankiness. I think he is built to be a knight. He may not be a soldier. They're actually introducing a mainstream character that has the knight class, which we haven't seen in a while. I feel like this is their efforts to bring a bit of tank, 
of the tank roll back into relevancy, which I personally am very excited for. Even if it's not the optimal, I believe Kyle is still going to be fantastic in, in this role that he seems to be uh, geared towards. He's also got this skill, Doppelhander. When only weapon equipped is one sword, physical attack damage plus 20%, crit rate plus 10%, and physical attack damage cap plus 2,000. So this seems to be the equivalent to uh, skills like two-handed hammer, two-handed spear. This is doppelhander. This is like what would be two-handed sword uh, because this is these are the same stat boost that those two-handed weapons give, except it's relevant to equipping one sword. He's also got patience too. Uh, close to, I think that's the first time we've seen Patience 2. Close to death, defense plus 30%. Another uh, tanky skill built into him. Uh, for skills we have seen before, Fighting Spirit 3 and 5. Love that. Critical 2 and 3. That's big. Advanced Aim, Vitals, Proud Force, Royal Armor, Divinity Slayer. Oh my god. Auto Protection, Auto Crit, Auto Haste, Pride, Fire High Drive, Fire Attack Raise, Fire Attack Raise 2. Bless Speed. Chivalrous Mindset, I think, is a skill that Roland comes with. I'm not super familiar with it. Uh, the guys earlier mentioned what it does, and I kind of forgot. I think it's just kind of a, a stat boost in some areas. He's got Double Impact, Sword Boost, and Giant Killing. Ooh, he is going to be a juicy, fun character to build. I think he's going to be very tanky. He's going to do a lot of damage. Uh, sounds like my cup of tea. Salute to that, baby. I am excited for Kyle. I'm excited to bring... Whoa. Well, I gotta say, this arc is no joke right here. Look at that artwork, bro. Kagutsuchi, I think is how you say it, is the newest you are coming. Here we go. Let's see. Arc attribute at max level. When physically attacking, raise critical rate and damage as units HP drops. Crit rate plus 10% max. Crit damage plus 60% max. Continuous Brave Effect. I think that's 20% strength. When close to death, activate Grand Brave. And Fire Attack Damage Cap plus 3,000. That's a similar effect to the trait we saw with DeGrogue. When you get close to death, uh, you're activating Grand Brave, which I believe gives strength to the entire team. Uh, and then also gives whoever is wielding this extra fire attack damage cap plus 3000 they're releasing it alongside kyle so that's who they obviously want you to uh, equip this with the arc skill very powerful fire attack against all enemies damage cap plus 15,000. all allies physical and fire attack damage plus 30 percent that helps no one except <laughs> kyle uh, bb shit del Bordo. And like Nero's S1. So the arc skill, obviously, it's nice that it has that damage cap of 15,000. It's going to be one of these hard hitting, slamming uh, UR arc skills. But it is only of the fire element. So a bit limited in that area, but will make Kyle look even better, which is their goal. Uh, the skills it comes with, Fast Flame Wall, automatically uh, activate Flame Wall at the start of battle. I actually really, really like that because it's going to help me showcase units on Pablo better. So I don't have to worry about bringing Tyria to activate Flame Wall every 20 seconds. Flame Circle regularly deals fire damage to one enemy and reduces ice resistance. We've got Light High Drive being placed on an art to teach. That's nice. Light physical attack and special power plus 30 percent i'm gonna be giving that to alice if she doesn't already have it i can't remember i know she has light critical rays i don't know if she has light high drive though so that's gonna look real nice with alice if she doesn't already come with it fire critical rays uh critical rate of fire attacks plus five percent and critical power plus 50 percent it also comes with sword boost and holy circle got it all righty then it's just going to be the best UR arc for physical type damage dealers, I think. Just giving you that extra crit rate, bigger crit uh, damage. Gives you a continuous brave effect, so that's very useful. If a character doesn't already come with auto brave, uh, that's 7 SC that you can save. The fire attack damage cap is obviously only relevant to those with fire attack damage. So I should say it, it's actually not going to be the best. Uh, physical type damage dealer arc. I don't want to make that call right here, uh, but it's going to be very, very nice, especially 
for your units like Kyle, like BB Shin is going to look crazy with this arc. But the artwork is fantastic. So y'all know I got 90,000 crystals saved for this banner in particular. Uh, I really hope maybe we can... No, I'm not even going to speak anything into existence. This looks dope. I want it in my arsenal. So all we can do is cross our fingers and pray. <laughs> There is the awesome uh, shift forms of each character, and now we have Kyle coming, baby. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, we've actually got a lot more news to cover. Stay tuned. Choked up thinking back on everything that's happened. Takasa, the Hobie, baby. Hey, y'all have dedicated your lives to this, so we appreciate it. You got a lightsaber. He's got a freaking yellow lightsaber, everybody. If that doesn't make you want to summon him, <laughs> I don't know what will. Alrighty. Hold up. Hold up. I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Kit, but I just need... I just saw the first line. Up to 220 free gotcha spins. Now, don't get crazy excited. This is probably going to be on our general pool. Nothing crazy, but still. 220 free? Gotcha spins is no joke. A guaranteed unit could include a hero. Get a rainbow potion to boost units to level 100. We saw that when I started in the one and a half year anniversary. So that'll be nice for a lot of new players. 10,000 crystals available for three for free. <laughs> three multi summons for free. Great chance to play through the main story. Yep. Super descent of heroes that includes all heroes, guys. So uh, though the speculation on all Limited heroes coming back in one banner. Looks like it's the case here. Super training promo. Trade second anniversary medals for exclusive gear. We'll see what that means. Easier to play in the arena. Okay. Special second anniversary sets in the shop. Yeah, you'll want to play every day. I imagine you get those maybe 10 spins a day. Look at that, bro. Yeah. Everything on this little flyer here is from the general pool. So... You're not doing 220 free spins and picking up DB Ray or Shift Libet or Sage Zekis. Uh, you're just sending it on what's equivalent to the regular ticket gotcha that we can already summon on. But for me, I'm excited because that means I can have a chance to get Mecha Dragon Valdios, uh, the new Four Lords of Ruin arc that's really fantastic. If you don't have Merity, this is a great chance to get one of the best permanent units in the game. Uh, I don't have Blaze Blade Shin. I like to pick him up anyway. There's still a lot you can get if you don't have everything available in the game already so this is very big very generous of them oh look at that kyle artwork bruh oh my god that's awesome that's awesome that is second year anniversary worthy guys for sure okay look at these guys clear the second anniversary special challenges for one unit guaranteed no way you can get one shift main character guaranteed Oh, okay. I see. So, that's probably going to be for this Super Descent of Heroes banner. That has what I'm assuming is literally everything on it. All DOH units, all general units are going to be smashed together in this pool. You're going to get a ticket for that banner. And you roll the dice and hope you get something real good. The thing is, if you're re-rolling, if you're a brand new player, you can probably re-roll. Uh, depending on how long that process looks like, you can try and cheese your way to the guaranteed unit that you want. So that could be very exciting. And one of the other this is a very, so very good thing as well for, you, for newer players. You don't have to worry about enhancement materials. Uh, pick any unit and you can just speed run them to level 100. God, we're only halfway through this video. Holy cow. I haven't even started the first volume. <laughs> Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like the sound of that. Hey, yeah. Oh, Dweeks was wrong. <laughs> it's not Daramakia. I don't know who the Nalfgar, who is it? <laughs> so if you watch the podcast, the uh, strategy that we talked about to take on Dara is not relevant to this new multiplayer boss, but it will be. 
Potentially in the future. No. Be sure to take a look. Yeah, be sure hey! Takasa with the English. Okay, look at here we go. Let's I'm gonna pause you real quick. What the heck just happened? All right, I'm gonna pause kit real quick so that I can take a look at this. Uh, so after maintenance on the 15th, we will start to be able to spin on that free 10 spin. Uh, the Descent of Heroes Festival, Night Lord Kyle and you are are on that rate up. Super Descent of Heroes Festival. Uh, it does contain Night Lord Kyle and all other heroes. Now, don't be fooled. That's going to be very tempting for a lot of players. But in my gotcha experience, whenever you have a banner with everything on it, the chances of you getting what you want are extremely slim a lot of people are going to get super lucky and get like a pole with shift kyle and sage zekas uh, some people are going to get like spirit baited tyria and g lukiel in one summon it's going to be tempting but just know that your probability for disappointment on that banner is going to be much higher than some of these others so you really need to pick and choose where you spend your crystals hopefully i'll release uh i'll try and release some further videos on where i think your crystals are going to be best spent we'll have to see what exactly the banner is structured like then we've got step up descent of heroes festival night lord kyle on raid up i imagine that is for paid crystals right these step ups typically you have to uh, use paid crystals then we've got the one you are one hero SSR slash UR 10 spin gotcha for another 9,600 paid crystals. They're bringing it back, everybody. They're bringing back the New Year's banner that was so useful. I mean, your boy's gonna drop another hundo. I just have to support them when I see Adis doing things like this. They're bringing straight fire, straight Kyle heat with this second year anniversary, so I don't mind dropping some support. This is one of the most value banners for any paid crystals that last claudia has ever offered in the history of their game the fact that it comes with a guaranteed ur the only time they did a pity for a ur you're talking about close to a thousand dollars would have needed to be spent if you had to pity it so you can get a guaranteed one for a hundred bucks you know comparatively only spend if you have the means to right that's the disclaimer but if you can, it shows Adis some love, it shows them some support, and it's going to get you a guaranteed UR, which is the real prize of that banner. The hero is not as crazy, but those the UR is crazy. And you have the potential to get multiple URs. I know uh, Mobile Gamers Unite pulled like three in his uh, New Year's summon, which is just crazy. So look at this. Special Descent of Heroes Festival rate up applies. Uh, so we're getting all of that on the 15th, on the 22nd. Uh, we're getting a banner that features DB Ray and his UR. Then on the 27th, we're getting a Spirit Maiden Tyria raid up banner. I know people people are probably going to save their gems for this or go ham on that banner because we know how insanely busted she is now. Part three, Lilibet, and on the eighth, or I'm sorry, on the third, we're getting Lilibet. On the eighth, we then get another Sage Emperor Sekis. Uh, banner rerun i may try and pull your boy i may depending on how close we can get i may throw a couple summons at secus's banner because of how good he is but look at this after 428 maintenance we're getting another new unit after shift kyle keep that in mind guys keep that in mind uh, we don't know what it is it's kind of like when they released the road map for the second year anniversary countdown it said a new unit that ended up being de grogue We've got another one of these. Hold your horses until we know exactly what that unit is, because you never know. You never know. It's always safe to play it patient. Oh, Kit! Pulling at my heartstrings. And, uh, you know, hit that bell Already well. done, my so, friend. Absolutely, guys. Take care. I love you. Oh! And, uh, you know, we'll see you soon. Kit! Let's talk as I gotta follow that up. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. My guys! I gotta say, that was a very satisfying video.
Okay, baby, let's take a look at this news notification. Last Claudia, second year anniversary news. Oh, it just links you to the video we just watched. <laughs> but as we just saw, we've got a lot. We've got a lot coming to the game, and your boy is excited. Uh, at the moment, I feel like it's everything I was hoping it would be free gotcha spins a ton of bonuses if you're a new player jumping into the game you're going to be getting a huge start but it's going to be a bit crazy there's a ton coming so it's going to be kind of overwhelming stick with your boy buddha join the buddha gang stay with me and i hopefully i can help you feel comfortable and uh enjoy the experience that is last claudia you know so many people in this community have gotten me to where i am today uh, gotten me to feel confident with my game knowledge and it's just been an incredible incredible experience ever since i decided to pick up this game so i just want to provide that to anyone who's deciding to jump on this journey with us oh your boy is excited for kyle guys oh i love that he's he's got some uh, tankiness some real what sounds like could be relevant tankiness like his ability to support the team provide a a decoy determination keeps people alive when they're about to die effect that seems very viable very useful not just kind of something that can be looked over i think in arena he's going to be a disgusting force him and spirit made interior uh, those are going to be the two meta units uh, some people hate that. Some people hate when two units just dominate like crazy. But with 90,000 saved, I'm getting them guaranteed no matter what. <laughs> I can't help but be excited. A lot of people aren't going to be in that same situation. So uh, make sure, make sure to stay tuned. Uh, and I'll be trying to help recommend anything that I feel will help uh, the majority of players overall. And you know that... I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. Are you underwhelmed? Are you excited? Is Kyle everything uh, sounding like everything you wanted him to be? I didn't have too much expectation with him. I wanted to see what Adis was bringing to the table. And I got to say, I'm excited and very happy uh, to see how he performs the animations alone. He's just going to be such a satisfying character for me to play with and watch his skills pop off. Uh, the fact that he avoids some magic spells, nothing meta, right? He only avoid, he only doesn't flinch from fire and dark type magic, which isn't very common. So in arena, if you get hit with a blizzard, you're still going to be flinching, which kind of stinks. Which was a, a gripe I was hearing some people talk about that with those long animations, it just leaves for more time for your unit to get interrupted, which is a concern I can understand, but man... It's just going to look so fun to watch. So I am extremely excited. We've got that new unit coming on the 28th. We've got all that promo. Uh, I need to just get this video out there so I can hear what you guys think in the comments. Go show Ada some love. Subscribe to them. Follow their Twitter if you have one. If you don't make a Twitter account, go follow them so you can get entered into these sweepstakes. You can help get us all these bonuses and follow your boy Buddha over on Twitter. That's where I post uh, my, my real-time thoughts on a lot of things sometimes. <laughs> so, oh, I am just ready to go. Three days. Here we go. Your boy's still got some event, uh, event stuff to grind out. Uh, so I'm just working on that, all this huge list of events that we've got going on. I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep making some videos in the meantime. Maybe a little shift a little bit showcase since you can see I, you, I do have her uh, quote unquote maxed out in my case, right? I don't have her six starred, but for me, four star full ability board level 100 is what I consider my maxed out uh, showcase. So maybe I'll show off a little bit in a little video how I've built her if you guys want to see that. I'm rambling. I'm talking because I'm just jittery. I'm ready to go. And I hope you are too. So <laughs> y'all know what I say. Work hard, play harder. See you in the next video.